In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a vector t-shirt graphic that was created in Graphics Flow using the editing tools in Affinity Designer. So I've gone in and changed the colors and the text using the stock art customizer in Graphics Flow. And next I'm going to download a file and do some advanced editing. So I'm going to click on the three ellipse button here. I'm going to select the option for PDF file. I'm going to browse to a location on my hard drive. I can also name the file, so I'll just name it. I'll click on save. And then the next thing I need to do is open the PDF file in Affinity Designer. After opening Affinity Designer, I'm going to select file. I'm going to select open. I'm going to navigate to the location where I downloaded the PDF, highlight the PDF file, select open, and then select OK. Once the PDF file opens, you'll notice that there's a weathered overlay that's sitting on top of the graphic. So in Affinity, you need to make a change in the overlay to actually set it up as an overlay. So if you select it and you go over here to Layers, if you go to the dropdown where it says Normal, you can just select Overlay, and that's going to make that transparent. I'm going to go do some editing on the general vectors first, so I'm going to hide the overlay, and then we're going to come back and mask that in once we're done doing the editing on the vector. So I'm going to go over here and click on Toggle Visibility to hide it. When you're editing a file in Affinity, there's two general views that you'll be using. One is the vector-based view, but there's also an outline view, and it's generally a good idea to select view mode, select wireframe and outline to see what's going on in the underlying vectors. And you'll notice right here that there's intersecting paths in the script text. When this text was typed in, letters overlap, and that's generally not a problem for printing if you don't have a stroke or an outline, but if you outline this, the outline is gonna go around each letter as opposed to the perimeter of the graphic. So one of the things that we wanna do with that particular overlapping letter style is to weld it together. So if I select it, and I go over here on the property bar and click on the add button, it will weld the text together into one unified path. I'm gonna exit the outline view. I'm gonna go back to view, view mode, and select vector again. The next thing I'm gonna do is recolor the entire design using global colors. So I'm gonna select the move tool. I'm gonna to marquee select around the entire graphic. I'm gonna right mouse click. I'm gonna select add to swatches and I'm going to choose the option for both as global. This is going to add both the outline stroke and the fill color as a global color. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go over here to swatches, and you can see we've identified the colors in the design. Now, one thing I'm catching right away is there's two blue colors. So I can identify which blue right here. We can see that's the lighter blue and I'm gonna click on the darker blue to consolidate those. To globally recolor design, once we have these color swatches set up as global, it's just a matter of double clicking on the color. Swatches will come up. I can select a new swatch library. So I'm gonna go down here to swatches, to the dropdown. I'm gonna select one of the swatches for Pantone spot colors, in this case, Pantone Color Bridge Coded V4. And then I can select my new color from the list. So I'm gonna go down the list, find the color I'm interested in, We'll do a, maybe a brighter blue, something more along the lines of a royal blue here. And you can see that it's globally swapping the color. I can just repeat this process for the other colors in the design. Again, I'll go to the gold, double click on it, go to my swatches. Let's change this over to orange. I'll select a new color of orange here. It's globally changing. And I could do the same thing for the white. I have complete flexibility in editing the design. I can select an object and resize it and reposition it. I can go in and select an object and add an outline stroke to it. So in this case, I'm going to select Central High School. I'm going to go over here to Stroke. Notice that we have the Pantone colors selected here. I want to use a stroke color from the document. So I'm going to go to the drop down list, scroll up and select document. And then I'm going to click on the orange right here to add an outline stroke to that object. It's a very thin stroke. So what I want to do is go over here to Stroke and then select a wider stroke. So I'll just put in one point, or I can use the outline function to scroll that up. Once I've completed the editing of the vector artwork, the last step would be masking off the overlay. So I'm gonna go back over to the overlay. I'm gonna to toggle visibility on, and then what I'm gonna do is right click on the overlay, and I'm gonna select the option for rasterize to mask, and that's gonna mask the overlay into the graphic. 
Even though we recolored the design using Pantone spot colors, we don't have the ability to print out spot color separations in Affinity Designer. We can, however, export a PDF file and print out separations in a program like CorelDRAW or Adobe Illustrator. And in those programs, we can print out a solid black image onto film for each color in the design. So what I would do is I would select the entire design. I would go to File. I would select Export. I would select PDF from the drop-down list. I'm just going to use the default values and I would click on export to create the PDF file. Now, if I'm gonna send over a PNG file, let's say we wanna do a direct to film transfer or direct to garment print and we want the white to knock through, what I would do is I would select PNG and then I'd go down to the dropdown where it said whole document. And this is why it's important to select the graphic because what I'm gonna do is say selection only and that's going to make the background transparent when I export the PNG file. If I don't select that option, I'm gonna get a white background and that overlay is not going to knock through. Select selection only, click on export, name the file, and you've saved a PNG file with the background knocked out. Affinity Designer is an inexpensive and effective program for editing vector graphics. It's also available for Mac, Windows, as well as iPad. And it's a great choice for editing the vector graphics that you customize in Graphics Flow with the stock art customizer.